Hi everyone, this is Vera Blagov, London-based abstract artist. I wanted to give you your own private tour of my latest exhibition on in the art space in Kingston Cass Art from September 23rd to October 9th, 2016. The exhibition is entitled Not Another Landscape. I entitled the exhibition so that it really talks about the landscape as a subject matter. For a long time, landscapes have not been considered worthy enough of being fine art. And in fact, there was even an edict of the Council of Trent a few hundred years ago, which claimed that landscapes were not valid as fine art because they didn't have a historical reference or a religious reference. Obviously, since then, landscapes have moved forward quite a bit and there's been lots of landscapes that have featured heavily in various movements throughout the years. Most recently though, landscapes do still have the, opinion, the ability to polarize opinion. Some people love landscapes. They find them inspiring, beautiful, and speaking of nature. And other people feel that they're perhaps old-fashioned somehow, not as modern, not as new, maybe even not as interesting. For me, landscapes are a huge part of what I do. I'm endlessly inspired by nature and its ability to constantly change and to transform us. I love walking in the hills. I love watching the seaside. I love hiking. To me, all of nature makes me feel alive and the beauty that I see in nature is just amazing and for me it's an endless inspiration for much of my artwork. So for me, landscapes is not a dead idea. Yes, it's, it's rooted in a lot of history, but it can have a modern dimension. I suppose the key thing for me is finding a new and different way of depicting landscapes, whether it's through a different medium whether it's through a different style, or whether it's through using certain color palettes. But really for me, whether it's the seascape, or whether it's the landscape, those type of paintings very much have a modern day relevance. I suppose as a Londoner over the past eight years, I've lived in a big city, and as much as I do love London, I absolutely adore nature. And really, because of the fact that I live in London, I feel like I need nature even more. And that's where the landscapes as art really come into their own. They're little windows that you can put on your wall and look into a different landscape or seascape that reminds you of nature somewhere else. So that when London life gets to you, <laughs> as it sometimes does. Um, you can just look on your wall and just remind yourself of a beautiful place, whether it's inspired by Iceland, as some of these are, particularly the aurora, aurora borealis skies, or whether it's inspired by the rolling countryside, the rolling hills in the countryside in England, as these are, or whether it's inspired by the Southwest, where I've spent about three months right before I moved to London, in New Mexico, which has some of the deepest, richest red sunsets I've ever seen. Whatever inspires you in terms of landscapes and nature, I think, for me at least, landscapes very much are still very relevant for today and for the art scene. I hope you enjoyed this private tour of my solo exhibition, Not Another Landscape. Again, it's on until October 9th, and I hope you'll have a chance to check it out. Thanks so much. Bye.